Shadowworks, founder of Tree People is one word, capital T, capital T. Okay, well, and we'll do a little bit of warm-up and take liberties and maybe a couple takes because yeah. my brain is <laughs> at a disadvantage here. Um, as you know, the Forest Service was really founded uh, in a watershed protection enhancement mode. And I'm going to assume we're not using this piece and I'm not going to stop because the plane's there. But uh, that is no go, yeah? With yeah. OK. Um, uh, no, it's all right. We're, we're not going to use that anyhow. <laughs> uh, Los Angeles is, like any other land, a living ecosystem. And yet, it was built and it is managed as if it is somehow plopped on an inert piece of concrete, asphalt, or glass. We see Los Angeles as in its we see Los Angeles as a living ecosystem as a forest, in fact, as an urban forest. And we're suggesting that Los Angeles could be managed as an urban forest watershed. And if we were to do that, we could capture the billions of dollars worth of rainfall that falls every year and in managing LA as a forest, create tens of thousands of jobs and make this a beautiful, sustainable, healthy city and a great place to live. We already knew it was a great place to live. That's why so many people moved here. But when we built the city, we didn't understand how nature worked. And we paved it over. And we throw away the most critical resource, the water, that is critical to everyone's lives. And to bring in enough water to make Los Angeles work, we have to take it from the top of the Colorado Rockies and drain the western United States. That's absurd. We hear people screaming, we need more money, we need more water, we need more resources, and in fact, we have them all here and we waste them. The beauty of the forest is that a forest, a living system, recycles everything. And so there's abundant water, there's abundant energy, there's abundant resources, because in the natural system, it's just recycled. What we have to do is learn from the forest and start recycling our water and our systems here. The good news is the Forest Service has the science. It has the systems and the ability to do just that. What we want to do is bring those systems into the city. Um, that was way too... <laughs> yes. Oh. In a forest, there's abundant energy, abundant water, and health, because the natural forest system recycles everything, and, and it works. In a city, we actually have abundant water, abundant resources, abundant energy, but we have no health because we throw it all away. Instead of recycling it, it's one way. We have a lot of lessons to learn and technologies to learn from the forest itself and from the Forest Service, who's learned how to manage the cycles and keep them going. What we want to do is bring those systems with the Forest Service into the city so we can recycle the water, create jobs, abundant jobs, and return health to the city. Yeah, well, the Forest Service doesn't work in the city, has not, um, for the most part. It's doing small things, like, but yeah, what we want to do. Are we rolling? Yeah. Okay. So the Forest Service manages the forest as living ecosystem, which it is. We don't manage the city that way. We manage it as separate, independent bureaucracies as we manage infrastructure. No whole systems thinking. What we need to do is take the ecosystem approach that the Forest Service uses and bring multiple agencies together and manage it as a whole in order to capture and recycle the water, prevent floods, have clean water on the coast, create abundant jobs, recycle the waste stream, and bring nutrients back to the soil instead of having it be waste filling the landfills. The Forest Service ecosystem management strategy em embodies all of that. 
and it works perfectly in the city. It requires us, though, to go to a whole new level of cooperation, sharing, teaching. In effect, we're going to step into a new paradigm where government becomes the teacher, the monitor, the moderator, and individuals, from little kids all the way to adults and corporate managers, become, each of them, a manager of their piece of the whole ecosystem. What we're talking about here is sustainability. And that's not just a word or a concept. It has everything to do with quality of life and jobs and health. We've been managing the city in a very unsustainable fashion. And the cost is loss of jobs, loss of satisfaction, loss of emotional health, and loss of physical health. If we bring it all together, we can restore health. We got a helicopter coming in. Well, um, how's that? Okay. Great. As you can tell, we are living in the middle of an urban forest. The forest itself comes right down to the city, and you can almost not see the difference. The forest brings great stuff to the city trees, recreation, open space, sanity, and health. Where Los Angeles and all cities are heading is removing all of that as we manage the place simply as infrastructure. And what we get is lack of health, crime and pain, and lost resources. The opportunity here is to restore health, restore green open spaces, recreation spaces, and restore the health and vitality of our cities. A really critical issue that runs through all of this is water. Los Angeles receives half the water it needs in rainfall, just the city, and it throws it away, though. It doesn't capture it. In a forest, it's captured, put back in the soil. Los Angeles spends nearly a billion dollars a year for its water, and it throws half of it away. It spends another half billion dollars getting rid of that water. That's insane when we need that money for jobs. We need the water so badly. As more cities grow and competition over water gets more severe, it's even more critical. The opportunity here and the beauty of forest ecosystem management or watershed management, the beauty here is that with forest ecosystem management or urban watershed management is that we can capture that water and recycle it, create jobs having people harvest it and manage the city as if it was a forest and return the city to health. Real short. These are great concepts, but making it real is very much of a challenge. We actually have to change the way every single property in Los Angeles functions. And what Tree People's done is bring together architects, engineers, foresters, urban foresters, hydrologists, to bring this integrated thinking to shift, slightly shift the way we manage properties so they can actually grab and recycle the water. We've done that very successfully, and now we're working with agencies like the Forest Service, like LA County Public Works, like Metropolitan Water District, the Department of Water and Power to actually apply these things onto whole communities. We're actually retrofitting, looking, we're actually looking to retrofit an entire watershed in the North Valley. We're looking at neighborhoods right in uh, South Los Angeles where we'll be actually be changing hundreds of homes so they can capture the water and recycle it. And really, the big prize is that Los Angeles will spend $20 billion in the next 10 years on new water on new flood control infrastructure, not in an integrated capacity. Our job is to bring the agencies together and spend that same money to put in place the urban forest watershed. We've proved already that can be done, and now we're facilitating the agencies to plan doing it. Now, if we're speeding, I'll just go and answer the question back to you. And we began our work bringing trees and people together to make the world better to heal the, we, we began our work bringing trees and people together to solve problems and make this a healthier place to live. That really hasn't changed, but as we've begun to understand the science of ecosystems, we realize the tree is not simply that stick in the ground from the ground up that's green on top. It, a tree itself is an entire unbelievable magnificent, the, the tree itself is an 
entire, unbelievably magnificent, beautiful system that is the forest. A tree is a watershed device. It is an airshed cleaning device. And it is the profound tool that links people with their power to do healing work. Tree People's mission is to inspire people to take responsibility for the urban forest. And we've done an incredible job of educating, activating, and supporting people as they take action in their neighborhoods, in their communities, in their schools, and in the forest. But we discovered that simply planting the trees and then caring for them wasn't enough because even though people could take responsibility, they ran into systemic policies, laws, government systems that blocked them from having any power. And the, the great example is in mismanaging LA, not as a watershed, but as a drainage, when you spend billions of dollars building pipes and flood control systems, the effect is like putting a diaper on Los Angeles and saying, you individuals don't count. It doesn't matter what you do, positive or negative, we're going to spend billions making sure that the system just happens anyhow. Well, that's not right. It is a waste. It disempowers people, makes them crazy, and leads to more ill health. And we can't even afford it. And so in order to actually meet our mission of enabling people to take responsibility and have that responsible action actually make a difference and make the system work, we've had to go beyond the simple tree to the s all the systems linked. But it's not very far, because the tree and the person is right there at the core, and always will be. And it is, in its complexity, it is also that beautifully simple. Do I need to wait for that truck? People wonder why and how I could possibly spend my life doing just this. Um, it is very complex work. It is very simple and it is very beautiful. I, and I think most significantly is that every single day I see what a difference I'm making. And when you see a child get in touch with their power to affect and change the world simply through that planting and the care for the tree, and how that tree helps feed people, helps save lives, helps give people air. It's unbelievable, unbelievable experience. And to know and see and get feedback that you're making a difference in people's lives, uh, those are riches that I don't think any other job could ever replace. The Los Angeles River is a concept for most people. You know, right now it's just this concrete box that runs through the basin. And one of the people involved in this watershed work once said that if the river is our bloodstream, then LA's got hardening of the arteries. And that is very true. And I take that as a really excellent example because people don't get hardening of the arteries by drinking concrete. And the city didn't just get it by drinking concrete and you don't get rid of it by just removing the concrete. You have to fix the whole system. It's through abuse of the system that we got the hardening of the arteries. It was through the abuse of the land that we had to put the concrete on the river. Bringing the river back to life doesn't start with removing concrete from the river. That's the last thing we can do because if we just do it without fixing the rest of the watershed, we endanger lives. The brilliant opportunity is to heal the land property by property all over. And then as we do that, we can bring the, the river back to life because we're getting the water back in the ground, we're recharging the watershed, we're reestablishing the habitat, and then we can see everything blossom. A lot of people ask, why the Forest Service and what role does it have in the city? And the answer is that the Forest Service is perfectly suited for this. It has all the components that are required for this profound shift. It has the ecosystem management perspective. It has developed a unique ability amongst agencies to bring communities together and manage stakeholder input and stakeholder process. That's critical, and it's the only agency I know that has actually made that part of the culture. It has a lot to give. 
its foundations are right there in water management and it's something that many people don't know and it's critical to I think bringing the Forest Service the Forest Service's foundations were in water management and watershed management and many people don't know that they think it's all in the trees but it's not and I think that is the pathway back to health for this agency it has a tremendous amount to give and the most critical role that it has is in bringing all of its talents from the community facilitation to the rich, rich resources that it has in the research that's brought all this to the fore to, do I need to stop because of these cars? It, you know, that, that's going to be constant. Unless we move to another... <laughs> the Forest Service has its roots in watershed management, and most people don't even know that. I mean, the first national forest in the country was here about grabbing water and making it available to people. And in that, I think, is its salvation. There's several other key pieces of the whole that the Forest Service has that are critical. It knows, wait a minute, do you need me to do that? Okay. What was my last point <laughs> there? Oh, well, you were, you were saying that the, it has... The Forest Forest Service system. roots, okay. Yeah. Oh, you want to start from the beginning? Well... If you'd like to, that'd be great. Well, if you were start, going to go into the research piece... Yeah, the yeah, I know where I'm going. As soon as this car goes by, there's a truck. But let's do it anyhow. Okay. Ready? Yeah. The Forest Service is uniquely suited for this mission. First of all, its roots are in watershed management, and most people don't know that. But it also has other very, very specially honed skills and resources for this task. It knows how to bring stakeholders together. And in fact, it's the only agency that I know that it's trained its people throughout the country on how to manage stakeholder input, community facilitation process. And that's absolutely essential if you're going to work in urban areas. Can't be done without it. Somehow, even though, and I know plenty of people are saying the Forest Service is in breakdown, it's in pain, how can it possibly leave the forest and take on this new mission? This is the same mission. America is hurting, and it's hurting badly, and its people are hurting. People need to know that they can be involved in healing and in helping. And it's part of that same mix of as we take the resource of water and learn how to recycle it and energy. All right, so we're good. Okay, I'll try that nope. from the top. <laughs> yeah. Uh, should I quote him or just say, just talk about it? I mean, I say it anyhow, so yeah, it just sure. happened that he said it in yeah. the conference. A lot of people ask why the Forest Service, a lot of people ask why, when the Forest Service is hurting, should it be involved in this work? A lot of people ask why, when the Forest Service is hurting and needs to get its act together, should it be involved in getting off the forest and getting into this work? And the answer is very simple. Aside from the fact that it knows what to do, it has an awesome gift to give this country. People need to be needed. Our people, all Americans, are, have a tremendous amount of energy to give. And just like the water that we have in cities, human energy needs to be recycled for people to be healthy, for our society to be healthy. Allowing people to come together with trees to take care of the land can restore not just the physical health, but the emotional health, the pride, the strength of this country. It's one thing that the Forest Service can bring and that it, it has. It's a gift that it can give that I believe can restore the Forest Service itself as well as the, the pride and the health of our nation.
I never knew that I could do that. Like, what am I supposed to do? I can't do that. I was, and that's creepy.